the country of Colombia, just across from the Ecuador border, there is a mountain with a church that sits on top. The church is called the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Las Lias. Las Lias is a Spanish word which means the rocks. You may be wondering why they would call that church Our Lady of the Rocks. Well, let me tell you the story behind it. Back in the year 1754, there was an Indian woman named Maria who was walking through the hills carrying her daughter on her back. Her daughter's name was Rosa. Maria was exhausted from carrying her daughter through the hills, so she took her off her back and let her go play while she sat and rested. Rosa ran off into some caves to play while Maria sat quietly. The next thing she knew, Rosa was coming to her, telling her mother, there is a woman and a small boy in the cave. Well, you can imagine Maria's shock when she heard Rosa speak because Rosa to this point had been deaf and unable to speak. And here she was telling her mother about a woman and a young boy in the cave. Maria grabbed up Rosa and they went back home to their village. People were astounded that all of a sudden Rosa had the ability to speak and to hear, but Maria did not tell them what had happened and how this came to be. She was afraid that people would persecute her and think that she was crazy. A couple of days later, Rosa disappeared and Maria realized that she must have been up playing in the caves. So Maria went up to the cave and spotted Rosa there playing with a little boy. Maria looked up and saw a woman standing there gazing upon her daughter and this little boy and immediately Maria fell to her knees with the realization that she was looking at the Virgin Mary and the realization that this young boy was Jesus. Maria and Rosa went back home to their village. However, Maria still kept the secret and did not share with people what she had seen, again for fear of being persecuted. A while later, Rosa fell quite ill and actually died. Grief-stricken, Maria picked up Rosa's body and carried her up into the hills to the cave where she had seen the Virgin Mary and Jesus. They weren't there, however, Maria knelt down and prayed to the Virgin Mary and to God to please heal Rosa and bring her back to life. Sure enough, Rosa stood up, came back to life, and Maria was just elated, and she took Rosa back to the village, and people were astounded that Rosa was alive. Finally, Maria told them the story, and they all flocked up to the cave. When they got there, they didn't see the Virgin Mary or the baby Jesus. However, they did see that on the cave wall now rested a large painting of Mary holding the baby Jesus with two saints in adoration of her, St. Dominic and St. Francis. Maria and Rosa were astonished that this painting was there because it hadn't been there before. When people started examining it, they realized that it actually wasn't a painting or it wasn't a drawing, that it actually seemed that the picture or image was built right into the rock. And to this day, scientists can't explain how that appeared or how it got there. Years later, they built a church on top of that rock and around that cave, and it's now called the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Las Lias. Many people, especially from South America, flock to that church to see this. It's possible that that story of Our Lady of Las Lias inspires us to give more devotion to Mary and that Mary can also help us be more connected to and close to Jesus. May God bless you.